guys, it's Taylor Ann, and welcome to my little creative life. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because we are hanging out here in my kitchen. I've never really had much interest in cooking until I really started gardening. I feel like that's what ignited the creativity towards cooking. But having access to fresh natural ingredients right from the backyard changes everything. <laughs> that sounds kind of dramatic, but being able to witness the life cycle of a plant all the way from a teeny tiny little seed, unassuming little seed that you plant in the ground, um, watch it die, plant again, and watch it grow and thrive and bloom and eventually you're able to get a harvest and some sort of production but after you nourish these plants for months and take care of them you're ended up with this beautiful harvest of fresh fruits and vegetables that came from your backyard and it's so rewarding to then turn those fresh ingredients into delicious food so I think that takes a lot of creativity, is to know how to prepare food. So I am no chef, no cooking experience whatsoever. I've worked in food service and I've seen a commercial kitchen up close, but my cooking philosophy pretty much up until this point has been simple and cheesy. I have kind of a, more of a connection with the garden and growing and less of a faith in the food system and commercial agriculture. Um, I just feel like I have more of a connection with the food and with turning that beautiful harvest into something edible and something that can nourish you, body and soul. I also try and find a way to use all of the scraps. So anything that the chickens can't eat uh, gets thrown into the compost pile. And the chickens are also a great resource. Like I said, they are little garbage disposals and will eat up any kitchen scraps that you give them. So anything that is left over gets put back into the compost pile. Having it straight from the garden into the sink, into the frying pan has changed food for me. So I cooked together all of these beautiful summer vegetables into a paste and then I cooked it down a lot, uh, pulverized it so it's a nice smooth sauce um, 
while I was doing that, I cooked some hard boiled eggs. Our chickens are laying at full production. Once you grow all of this beautiful food in the garden, you have to figure out what to do with it. So today I am using a, a lot of the summer harvest. It's still very much <laughs> summer here, um, even though we're getting close to Halloween. But the summer garden is abundant and it's beautiful. I have these beautiful eggplants, tomatoes. I traded a carton of eggs for this beautiful orange butternut squash, which I should have peeled. Like I said, I'm not a chef. <laughs> I don't cook very often. Um, this was just a fun little video to kind of share that even if I can do it, I can put together a beautiful edible <laughs> dish like this, that it can be more attainable than people may think. So good food and good wine <laughs> have become important to me uh, during this pandemic, <laughs> which may explain the quarantine 15, but I'm gonna enjoy the good food and the good wine and all of the blessings that the garden brings to me while I can. So I just wanted to share kind of a different perspective, different kind of video with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. And until I see y'all in the next video, stay creative. <laughs>